I know I'm going to probably get a lot of hate for this. But let me tell you women, do not drop your name after marriage. Yes, I was among those in the school of thought that, oh, when you get married, why are you still attaching your father's name for? Pick up your husband's name. At this point, no, because it's looking like women, we don't have any identity any longer. You get married, you drop a name you have answered for the most part of your life. You pick up another person's name. And when something goes south, everybody's telling you, drop the name. Why are you still bearing the name? You're still hiding under the shadow of his name. Then you now drop the name. Let's not even talk about the process it takes to, you know, regularize all your accounts, your documents to that, your new husband's name. If anything goes south, God forbid, you start going through that whole process again of reclaiming your identity. Oh, no, I no longer go as Mrs. Precious um, Washington. I now go as Mrs. Precious Obani. You are now trying to go back again. Because look at what you guys are telling your Lodiuchi's wife. Hey, change the name. Do this one. Why are you still bearing his name? Change it. And I'm like, I don't understand. This is like women you are just this is just a temporary thing if anything happens you go back so don't go through that stress worst comes to worst attach the name say you get married and the person's name is promise you say precious to ban hyphen promise so that anything will happen you just drop her why get married if this is going to be your attitude if you're worried about a last name and what could possibly fail you want a type of female why other females and women aren't getting married you're the manifestation of why you're not married really ask yourself this why would you get into a whole person's life that you're going to start your life with with such a negative look on it it's very simple do not get married Life is about sacrifices, life is about making wise choices, life is about learning and doing your best to get the best from whatever you do, not just for yourself but also for the man you're with too. The fact your whole outlook on marriage is so flawed and full of bitterness over a name which your children will also have really does let me know how selfish you already are listen it's not by force if you do not want to do things in a way that is going to not only benefit yourself but your husband your children because that is what marriage is about then don't do it these females are just obsessed with being prosperous and money and how nothing bad could ever happen or should ever happen but that isn't reality if you can't seem to want to face reality in life then marriage was never for you all this female is doing is keeping other women and females single with this mindset. Your identity will always still be intact regardless of your name. You're not just building with someone. You're building to multiply with that person. What's crazy is this female will want a traditional man. This female will want a provider. This female will want a protector. And you're not even willing to live up to any traditional ways when it comes to marriage and becoming a wife. Females are the ones not only are now preparing for divorce, because this is exactly what she's doing, but are also the ones who are filing for it more. Yet, they all wonder why men aren't quick to want to make them their wives. Your whole mindset of marriage is already leaning towards failure. A man is not looking to marry it's a female who's preparing for divorce who is fighting to keep her name, who only cares about money. There is no point looking for commitment from men who still have to be traditional and you're not even living up to any tradition. This female and others which agree with her message, who agree with her stance, should all find something else they can do for the next 40 years. Marriage isn't made for you. Marriage isn't for you. It's just that simple. No one needs to change traditional procedures which has been going on for centuries to protect the family's asset, to protect the wife's asset, to protect the husband's asset, to protect those in the family. It's more than just identifying or keeping your identity. It's so much more bigger than that. 
and females are just stuck on leaving a man to be prosperous after. It's just clear you females should reevaluate your life goals because marriage once again shouldn't be one of them. You would just cause chaos, you would just cause drama, you would just put everyone else in danger. Too caught up with divorce that you're not even looking at anything else that could happen in life whilst you're married. It will still cost just as much or even more. Even life, God forbid. How are you going to even be able to prove you're married, you're stranded somewhere with your children? How do you prove they're your children? It isn't just about keeping your name in case for divorce. It's about everything else that is also going to happen in life. Just makes it very clear why some females are better off choosing not to be married. You're better off reevaluating your life goals and take marriage out of it. Because any female with this mindset should just stay single. Because all you're going to do is jeopardize other people around you for your selfish behavior. I'm your hostess, Reminit Princess. These are my last thoughts. The truth is, not everyone is made for marriage anymore. This is the state that we're in in 2024. And it's becoming very clear, females aren't made for marriage. Some females shouldn't get married. I'm not forcing every single female to get married because this type of mindset is best to just be single and do your own thing let me know what you think thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye